the ENT grant is a project of uh, the membership committee of the PSOHNS under Dr. Mon Belmonte. The objective of the ENT grant is to promote the dissemination of ENT specialists all over the country, uh, specifically the fellows. In this grant, uh, the Philippine Society of Otolaryngology and the Next Surgery will give 20,000 to the applicant who intends to transfer his place of practice to an area, to an underserved area as far as ENT is concerned. We know that uh, the ENT specialist is not equitably distributed all over the country. There is a uh, concentration of specialists in the highly urbanized areas of the country, specifically the Metro Manila area. And uh, there is a need to uh, distribute our uh, uh, specialists to other areas of the country where there is a lack of uh, specialists. So the Philippine Society of Otolaryngology had an surgery in line with the DOH program of dissemination of physicians in underserved areas thought of uh, coming up with this project. Well, this is exclusively for fellows of the society who have already uh, started uh, practice in a certain area and might be interested to transfer this area of practice to an underserved area identified with the Philippine Society of Otolaryngology. There are distinct advantages in going to an area where there is a lack of an ENT specialist because uh, you are going to feel a need rather than uh, going to an area where there are already a number of ENT specialists and uh, therefore you will be competing for a place of your own. I uh, studied in Manila after which, uh, after my studies and my uh, training, and uh, I chose to practice in Naga City, that's in Camarines, Rodrigo. In my internship and residency at the Philippine General Hospital, and uh, it was soon after my the completion of my residency that I transferred to General Santa City. Practicing in the province compared to Metro Manila, uh, the cost of living is lower so that uh, the demands for the individual practitioner is probably less economically compared to if I practiced in Metro Manila wherein my cost would be generally higher. How long you will pay uh, Pharmaceutical companies will come to you, they want you to lecture on the different uh, drugs that they want to introduce in the market, uh, sponsorships, conventions, or meetings in Manila, or even abroad. And the number of patients that started to come in increased sooner than if probably I were in the Metro Manila area. Ha, perk, yes. You'll get to be a ninong of so many children. <laughs> and you get to be a Ninong also for weddings. Of course, when there are gatherings in the province, they would always want you to have seated on the presidential table. In General Santos City, I'm probably a big fish in a smaller pond. And uh, there are some perks. Uh, we have a running game with my wife and my daughter when we go to a mall, for example. My daughters would count the number of people who would greet me compared to the number of people who would greet my wife because she's also a cardiologist. And that's how it is that you become a local celebrity in, in an area because uh, uh, you know, people know you, it's a small place. I get to be an endorser of a bakery, not endorsing an ice cream shop and uh, chicken barbecue restaurant. The mayor knows you, the congressman knows you, the councillors, they know you, even the losing candidates know you. It's an entirely different experience when you go to the province. You, know? uh, you get to meet a lot of people, the, the company of my family or my friends. I even do tutoring for my kids for, for their daily exams. So I'm asking 
all our fellows out there, especially the young ones, who are still unconvinced as to their area of practice, to go to the office, discuss with the staff about the entering new territorial program, and look at the available areas where you may be able to relocate your practice. There are many, many areas in the Philippines, General Santo City included, where in additional otolaryngologists, aside from those already there, are much needed. And in fact, there are even areas wherein we don't have any fellows. So please try to uh, look at this program, find out if it applies to you. You might be interested. I'm sure some of our ENT colleagues will be able to assist you and help you or even the society. We have this project to assist our new graduates to practice in areas which are devoid of uh, ENT specialists.